So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you uh, the advantages of using a line network with a surface modifier as opposed to using an edit poly with a turbo smooth. So you can see I built this geometry here. I started with a plane, added a bunch of modifiers, and then uh, made some adjustments in this edit poly, and then finally turbo smooth the, the object. The issue with this is if I want to, let's say I want to make this, this part of the geometry a little wider, um, I have to turn off my turbo smooth and then I can make that adjustment but even using the show end result you know if I turn on my turbo smooth and then turn on my end result I can't see the points that I want to move on that edit poly so one way around this if you're happy with your geometry if you finalize the form you can select all the edges at the edit poly level I'm going to turn off my turbo smooth select all your edges and then under um, under uh, create shape just kind of toggle down here. Let me move this window up here. Um, you go to Create Shape, go to the Settings button, and choose Linear, OK, and that'll extract the line network from this Edit Poly Geometry. So let's go ahead and take that line network here. I'm just going to move this over so you can see the difference. Um, and now I'm just going to add a surface modifier to this line network. And that should give me the exact same geometry, assuming all of your lines resolve themselves in four-sided or three-sided polygons. You don't want to have any five-sided. So when I did this edit poly here and I made some changes, I was basically converting everything uh, into a four-sided or three-sided polygon. So I don't want to have any five-sided in there. Um, so anyway, I have my geometry. Everything should be good. Um, the nice thing about a surface modifier, if I now add my turbo smooth, is that you also have some control over the subdivision of the surface. So if I turn on my Turbo Smooth in this geometry, let me hide that line network, um, you can see I only get really one result. But if I have a surface modifier on here, I can change the step value and I can make this more or less, um, more or less smooth based on that surface modifier. So if I increase the steps, you can see it becomes a little more hard edge. I'll turn off my edge faces here you see the geometry becomes a little more hard edge around the corners which is kind of a nice to be able to have that kind of control over the form the other thing it allows you to do is if I go back to my edit spline and select vertices and turn on my show and result I can still see let me reduce the step count here I can still see the original line network vertices and the smooth results so if I want to increase this little uh, part of this geometry here, I can easily just choose my vertex, have my show in result on, and then see exactly how it will affect the smooth form. So this gives you quite a bit of control over the form that you wouldn't have uh, otherwise. So with the edit poly, you know, you don't see that line network around the form.